So everybody clap it up and let's welcome Philip to the stage. All right. Thank you. So I once bet a bisexual magician that I could figure out his card trick. I was 21 years old, it was February in Chicago, and I just knew I was savvy and cool and could do it. And if I won, he would buy me drinks, which was like so cool when I was 21. And if I lost, he said that I had to go to a gay sex bathhouse. So yes, this is the first story about hardcore gay sex of the night. Sure enough, the trick was too hard and this little twink couldn't figure it out. And so I ended up at Steamworks Bathhouse in Chicago. Anyone familiar? <laughs> All right. Well, let me describe it. So I go into Steamworks, and the first thing is a man named Barry behind bulletproof glass. And you have to buy a membership. You're going to be a member of the club whether you like it or not. I think this is some arcane rule about sex bathhouses in Chicago being members only, but whatever. I fork over $45. And then you get to pick your room. Now you can do everything from just a basic locker to a private room with a TV. But the TV's just got porn on it. You know, you're not getting HBO or anything, so don't think. So I got a private room to myself and I walked in. The first floor had the sauna in it. The sauna, as I'm just wearing a towel walking around, was full of people in this fog that was like Bespin from Cloud City of Star Wars. <laughs> And I knew I could find someone there that would say he was my father if I wanted to. <laughs> I went down into the pool and submerged myself. The chlorine was so strong it burned my eyes and that was, you know, for a good reason. <laughs> I went up to the second and third floor. On the second floor there was a vending machine selling condoms and lube next to a vending machine selling food and the food looked like it hadn't been touched in eons. The second and third floor were private rooms, and then the public areas for sex, if you so desired. There was the forest of glory holes, <laughs> the sex slings slung from every orifice, <laughs> the public mattresses that got more play than Casper here in New York. <laughs> but whatever you do, do not go up to the fourth floor, which I did, which is this brightly lit garish gym hell. All the all the furniture, <laughs> the gym equipment, I don't go to the gym that much. The furniture, <laughs> it's bright eggplant purple and there are mirrors everywhere. So it's like you have to see your true self in this garish light. Like, I love the never ending story and it reminded me of when Atreyu looks into the Oracle's mirror and sees Bastion. <laughs> Thank you, I love the movie too. <laughs> Everything there is done by eye contact and it's the most silent place in the world. It is primal. Everyone is walking around looking for someone just slightly hotter than they are. <laughs> and it is all against the rising countdown clock of the sun rising in the east. <laughs> Boulder men grab their cocks or even come up and grab yours to show that they want you. And you wonder, what do these people do for their nine to fives? <laughs> they are definitely investment bakers. <laughs> I ended up that night finding a man named Marco. I did manage to get his name out via a grunt and nothing more. I sort of indicated my place or yours, and we went to the public area where he preferred. And that was the first time I got fucked in a sling while eight people watched. <laughs> Long story short, I have been to other bathhouses, but none truly compares to Steamworks. It is a chrome palace, and it's very clean, actually. And I've only ever had the best of times there. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>